Okay, so by now you know that websites and files are stored on web servers located in data centers. But what if you wanted to create your own website? Do you really need your own data center with specialized hardware and software? Thankfully, the answer is no. And developers can launch websites to the internet using something known as web hosting. Web hosting is a service where you place your website and files on the hosting company's web server. You're essentially renting this space in return for stable and secure storage. And you don't need to be a company to use a web host. Individuals can rent space too. In this video, you will learn about the different types of web hosting services that you can use for your websites and web applications. First, let me share with you some of the different hosting options available. These can include shared hosting, virtual private hosting, dedicated hosting, and cloud hosting. Let's explore each of these hosting types in a little more detail now. The cheapest form of web hosting is known as shared hosting. You pay for a location on a web server containing many web hosting accounts with shared hosting. This means that you also share the server's processing power, memory, and bandwidth with other websites that might slow your performance. This option is best for a small website with a small number of visitors. Many developers also use this as a low-cost sandbox environment to practice deploying or hosting their personal websites. Some companies offer free shared hosting, but with limitations, and often have advertisements embedded in the web pages. Sites with more considerable demands use virtual private servers, or VPS. A VPS is a virtual server with dedicated CPU, memory, and bandwidth resources. It will be running on a hardware server with other VPS instances, but as the resources are fixed per VPS instance, your website is unlikely to be impacted by the performance of other VPS instances. A VPS instance will be more expensive than shared hosting. The next option up is to use dedicated hosting. This will be a hardware server that is dedicated to you only. All hardware CPU, memory, and bandwidth resources are yours to use. Generally, this option is more expensive than a VPS hosting. The last type of web hosting is something you may have heard of. Cloud hosting and the cloud has grown in popularity over the last decade and is often mentioned in various news and services you use. With cloud hosting, your website is run in something called a cloud environment, which spans across multiple physical and virtual servers. If a physical or virtual server fails, your website will run on a different server and stay online. The main advantage of cloud hosting is that you can use as many resources as you need without hardware limitations. However, you pay based on resource use. For example, if you transfer a file from the cloud to a web browser, you'll pay for the bandwidth used for that transfer at a fractional cent cost per megabyte. While this can quickly become more expensive, it allows websites and web applications to scale their cost as popularity grows. This is how many of the major web applications operate. In this video, you learned about web hosting and the different hosting options available to individuals and companies. Soon you will build your very first website. Are you excited to get it hosted so you can share it with the world? For more information on web hosting and services, please see the additional reading at the end of this lesson.